A kid isn't afraid of adventure, risk, failing, or getting hurt. There is no sense of sacrifice or fear of solidarity. A kid follows curiosity, not for money or to be on a magazine cover. We are startup kids in any industry, anywhere in the world, at this moment in time, with inner confidence and self-worth. As you turned into a teen, you became very keen on asking all the right questions. Like, why does gravity retract mathematics exact, and is cereal in a box a double negative? Daddy's getting old, so Alvina's gotta step up. This was his last labor of love, but he set me up. His health, my dollars, this is the work of a father's daughter. There is so much content on the net, and you've got your favorite place to vet, but I'll try to pitch you last week's tech, only the best in 60 seconds. And speaking of air zones, did you know that you can't shoot down drones? No matter if it's flying over your home or photographing you, they're protected as civil aircrafts and you can sue the pilot, but you can't shoot the drone. Welcome back to episode three this week on Tech Zulu with me, Alvina Beck. This is Tech Wrap. So if self-driving cars replaced Uber, homes can't be shared in the future, Reddit's community harasses with a keyboard, and lawsuits are something that we can afford, then where will all the lawyers go? That's 60 Seconds of Tech. I'm Alvina Beck. Subscribe to our channel to see more of me every week on your side panel. What's up, startup kids? I'm Alvina, and you're watching episode three of What the Flip, only on Flippagram. In the first 24 days of this year, more people in the US have died from police than in 24 years in the UK. Thanks for tuning in. I love your comments. I'll see you on the flip side right here on Flippagram every Flippin' Friday for What the Flip. And then 38% of us have one to six tattoos. Do you have any tattoos? I have zero tattoos. Do you have a tattoo? Uh, do you have a tattoo? I have one tattoo. Do you? Wow. I have one tattoo. And then finally, 23% of us have a piercing in some place other than an earlobe. Do you hmm. have any piercings? Yes. Yeah, zero piercings. Yeah, you do. I'm such a loser. God. <laughs> this is terrible. I, I'm going to ask you, do you have other ear earlobes? Uh, no, actually. Okay. Oh, wait, yeah, a belly button ring. Okay, I still have that button. since I was 16. Okay. Ooh. Wow, I was getting really personal with all you guys. <laughs> Men have been congregating around water coolers since the beginning of, well, water coolers. And women have been congregating around maternal subjects. Right. Traditionally, we know tech to be in Silicon Valley, but Silicon Beach Fest here in Marine Del Rey proves that we've got our own innovation in the city of Los Angeles. Pioneers are those who have arrows pointed at their backs. So keep pioneering, Los Angeles. Thanks for joining us on Tech Zulu. My name is Alvina Beck, signing out. The share economy, I think, which we're in right now, is our generation's industrial revolution. You can do TaskRabbit, you can do Lyft with your home car, you can do Airbnb with your home. You know, and kind of just see, okay, I'm investing in myself. And now let the rest of the world, the community, invest in you. I am my demographic. I understand pod shit. My millennials come with a MacBook Pro and a DSLR camera. They were high tops and skinny jeans. Like, that's what we look like. Pacha was developed out of the need to social travel. Currently, the only way to exist in that travel sphere is to rent a hotel room and have kind of like a solitary, inexpensive uh, experience. 87% solo travelers, that's what we're targeting. That 87% doesn't want a hotel and a solo experience. But with Podshare, we're taking that icky word hostel and we're just putting it into a cold living space with these custom pods that we built. And by that, 16 people got a tattoo of our logo. This one on my shirt right here. 16, let's just think about that. 16 strangers are roaming this earth with a logo of my tattoo. This isn't Nike, this is just do it. This is Podshare. It's social travel, right? Cold living space. And they got it up, back of their neck, two girls, like ankles, on their arm, like on the side here, like all over the place. I call that my $1,600 oh, $1, marketing budget. Awesome. That's not something that you put in your business plan. That's organic. So one day someone was like, man, I like your logo. It's a share the road sign with a suitcase and a house. And I was like, yeah. And he's like, I get a tattoo of that. And then all of a sudden two other people, and then three other people. And then all of a sudden we got 16 folks, pedestrians. This guy says, this guy says the pods come down. I know it's kind of like sayonara, sucker. You learn, I learned a lot from the process. And this is where the pivot story comes in, right? Because you bootstrap this, you put your heart into it. People love it. There's nothing wrong with it. But this guy comes in and says, I don't want it. And it's not fair, but who cares, right? That, life isn't fair. So you got to pivot. So what I had to do was get the money to build the next one, which is now in development. But then with the current space, because I was able to negotiate the, to keep the space, we do co-working. Because what I realized through this whole process is Posture isn't just about co-living, it's a sharing brand. And, and sharing means sharing desks, or sharing could mean sharing beds. It really is just about the community space of it. So as CEOs, you have to pivot. You know, there, stuff's gonna happen. And what are you gonna do about it? It won't die because there's people and we're living it and we're breathing this concept of sharing. They have taken us down physically, but I mean, look at this campaign. Look at, somebody put $10,000 into saying, I want to keep this thing alive. 
And then over 100 people so far have put anything from a dollar to five dollars, thirty dollars to say, I want to be there at the next space. And we're hearing you and saying, oh, that's, that's awesome. We want to continue too. You know, people like that, they want to share. Because I think that as we get older, we realize that we can't take it with us. And whether you started sharing before that realization, or you start sharing at that realization, when you have the money and you get to that point in your life, you almost want to give it to people, co-create, collaborate, and provide. So if I had to describe an entrepreneur as three characteristics, I would say we are risk takers, we are confident, and we love to provide for the ones we love.